Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, je vous demande une ovation pour la première paire qui se nous présente, Irogan Banquier, Robert Flair, What I mentioned oh, the in front, <laughs> blue and, and black. On the back. Um, the, bo the boy. Is that a problem? Do you want me to stop them now? But you didn't ask them to change. I because did. I will make a remark that uh, he was not uh, in the correct uh, I, I didn't. It's my fault.
ready to play, please. Nicholas, do you have a blue shirt? Because you've got black on the back. Do you have? Okay, that's all you have. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sarah Tigerson, Nicholas Neur, Denmark. <laughs> on my left, Baptiste Karem, Antran, France. <laughs> Sarah Tigerson to serve to Antran, level play. Very good afternoon and welcome to this semi-finals of the French International in Orléans. We start with the mixed doubles, as you can see, in black for France. Baptiste Carem and Antran. Against, for Denmark, Nicholas Noor and Sarah Tigerson. We'll follow this up with the women's single semi-final. Between Sashina Vignes and Linda Zichiri. Then the men's singles, Vladimir Malkov against Dmitro Zavatsky, and then we'll follow that with women's doubles in the final match in the semi-finals here on our streaming court will be the men's doubles semi-final. Huang and Lu of Chinese Taipei against Bastien Kersodi and Getan Mittelheiser Two, of France. One. So as I said, in black for France, Baptiste Carem, the experienced head of Baptiste. And his junior partner, Antran, who's really one to watch for the future. Opposing them. The now experienced Three, duo, one. Nicholas Noor and Sarah Tigerson. Sarah, I remember won the Danish national championships a few years back, partnering uh, Anders Skarp Rasmussen on that occasion. So quality Danish opposition for the local French flair. The French fourth seeds in this tournament. And this pair, these pairs already met once this year already in qualification of the Yonex German Open only a few short weeks ago. Four, one. And on that occasion, it was the Danes who came out on top. French took the first game to 18, but the Danes bounced back, winning 11 and 15 in that German Open Grand Prix gold qualification. Karem and Tran, who came together at the tail end of last season. White Knights in St. Petersburg. 5-1. In Russia, their inaugural tournament, and really have developed pretty well as a duo and certainly Tran really starting to develop into a really solid pr professional senior Service player. Two, five. Had a good tournament last week getting to the semi-final of the Polish Open. So uh, confidence flowing through the veins of the French And as you can hear, pretty large crowd here to support the French players. Three, five. And Karim and Tran are sure to feed off that positivity in this palace, the sport in Orléans, France. Service over, six, three. Nicholas and Sarah 
came together at the beginning of this season for the tournament together was the Belgian International back in September 2013 and have had reasonable results if nothing outstanding consistently getting to quarterfinals last Seven, 16 three. and uh, just before Christmas got to the semi-final of the Italian International so looking to go one better here in Orléans. Eight, three. And Karim and Tran have already beaten Danish opposition this week. 21-17, 21-13 against Kasper Antonsen and Amanda Madsen in over, this four, morning's quarterfinal. Eight. And beat Kargev and Bolotova, the qualifiers from Russia, in the second round, 21-17, 22-20. After a bye in the first round <laughs> as a seeded pair. 5-3. eight. Noor and... Degerson had a really big win in the earlier quarter final beating the second seeds Max Schwinger and Carla Nelta 21-19 in the third game the Germans were in control for much of that deciding set 6-8 21 21-19 beat the English duo Tauler and Lechinska and a 7 and 11 win over a Belgian pair in the very first round set them on their way towards this semi final. Seven, eight. So, 7 8. Nothing between the two pairs early in this match. And every point scored for the French will draw a really warm round of applause from the crowd. Eight all. Five points in a row, they level it up at eight all. A little bit of luck for Antran. Shuttle catching the net court and falling over. No chance for the Danes to retrieve. Eight. Of course, Antran, who also played singles this week, came through qualification. Ah! And that time, the lady in black going for the interception, just missing. Service over, nine all. Baptiste Karem, of course, able to concentrate solely on mixed doubles in the last couple of weeks nine. after an unfortunate injury to his men's doubles partner, Ronan Labar. A foot injury, I believe, for Ronan. Is sure to keep him out for a few months. So it'll be mixed doubles only for Karem uh, for the foreseeable future. Oh! Oh! And a flying Seven, smash nine, down the line. Invincible. Nicholas Noor takes the Danes to the interval lead, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. So the umpire calls 20 seconds. The French already back out on court. Eleven, nine, play. 
Level 9 flicks her from Nicholas to Baptiste. Again, Nicholas Noor focusing a lot of the attack into the body of Baptiste Kerem. And a good smash right at the left hip of the left hander. Service over. 10. 11. Very good defense initially from Baptiste Kerem. Oh, and the flick serve, and then a little bit of luck catching the neck cord once again for the French. 11. All. Service over, 12-11. Oh, this time the net coming. Being the savior 13, of the Danish on this 11. occasion, these things tend to even themselves out during the course of a match, of course. Little double action delay from Nicholas Knorr. Service over, 12, 13. And Tran, one of the members of the French under-19 team from uh, February, March last year, who medaled at the European Junior Team Championships in Ankara and Turkey. A lot of players to come through 14, that team. Delphine Lansac, of course, and uh, Stacey Giron, Bastien Kersoudi, who plays in men's doubles later. All graduates of that under-19 team for the French. And the French really starting 15, to produce 12. a lot of talented, good young players. A lot of singles players now starting to put a little pressure on the likes of Brice Leverty. Good intelligent flick again this time from Nicholas Noor. 16-12. This is a good spell for the Danish duo. Three points in a row on the serve of Nicholas. You could see that in that time in that rally, the return of serve. Over 13, Baptiste 16. Second guessing his opponent, knowing he was going to push it deep into his backhand corner. And Karem on the move before Nicholas Nor even played the shot. Good interception at the net from Sara. Service over, 17 13. A little bit of little rush of blood to the racket hand of Baptiste Kerem. 18, 13. And the Danes quite fortunate to get away from that. The flick serve initially from Sarah Tigerson. Only half court should have been uh, attacked much more efficiently by Antran. Again, the Danes using the flick serve a lot now against the French. Service over, 14, 18. Fight. 
power smash down the middle from Karem, but good defence from the Danes. And Nicholas Knorr on his toes. Service over, 1940. Playing with confidence, the pair in blue. Again, the flick. And again, Anna just a little bit slow to get her feet moving backwards. Game point forced to take 14. it on the backhand side. It takes the Danes to game point. Yeah. That's it, first game. Backhand block from First Karim, just failing Nicholas to Nord. find its way over the net. A subdued round of applause. As the Danes take the opening game, 21-14. Uh, <laughs> from the home crowd Second trying game, to lift level play and trying and Baptiste Karim <laughs> good defensive position that time from Sarah but the execution on the shot Service over. Not quite One as good love. as her positioning. First blood to the French in the second game. 16 minutes gone. Service over. One all. Oh. Confident Nicholas Knorr with the backhand smash. Two, one. <laughs> Service over, two, all. That's an area of the game that Anne Tran has really developed over the course of the last year. Three, two. Good power in her legs, that explosiveness she needs to bounce forward, punch forward for the kill at the net. Something that oh, a year ago she might not have been able to do. And again, the accuracy on the, in the, of the smash into the forehand hip of Nicholas Knorr. Four, two.
good angle on the smashes from Ann. Five, two. Very quick around the court, the young French woman. Yeah, the frustration from Baptiste. Open Service court. Over, three, five. Just needed to play the shuttle into that open court for the winner. Double hit from the French. Point for the Danish pair. The shuttle just clipping the racket head of Antran. Oh, just out. Great wrist from Karim. Five all. Steep angle from Nicholas Knorr. Seven, five. And Tran just failing to deal with it and easy then for Sarah. Five points in a row on the serve of Sarah Tigerson. And the aggressive return of serve from Tran yielding the Service French a valuable point. Six, seven. Service over, eight, six. Hey. Flat smash from Baptiste. Oh, oh yes, around the head interception from Anna. Tran, superb shot from the French girl. Service over, seven, eight. Ah. Reads the game very Service well, over, Tran. Nine, seven. But it's the Danes who are in the ascendancy, already one set to the good. 21-14 in the first, leading 9-7 here in the second. 22 minutes gone of the semi-final. Meanwhile, on the other court, defending champions, Blair and Bankier are one game down against Jorrit de Ritter, Samantha Barning of the Netherlands. In a game that's a must-win for Blair and Bankier. Service over eight, If they are nine. to achieve a seeding, at the Europeans, I think, is the case. Have to reach a final to have a seeding. Service over. 10, 8. Good to see such a reasonably large crowd here for the semi-finals three and a half thousand seaters arena this palette is sport 
in Orléans and certainly 1,000 of those seats full. Service over, 9, 10. Finals day at the French, always a spectacular event. Lights, music, great entertainment. Finals day at the French International. So make sure you join us tomorrow. One o'clock tomorrow, the finals Ten, will be played. Four. One o'clock local time. And the French level it up at 10 all. Flick serve from Tran. Again, Karem loves to go cross court with that backhand. Great wrist on the backhand. Loves to pull it cross court. Really catching the Danes out at the moment. And three points in a row for the French. Takes them to the Univa Lee 11 10. And as the crowd started to clap, it's quite clear who they want to win. They want to see French participation in tomorrow's finals. Mark Phelan here for Babington Europe TV, bringing you this Court two, 20 seconds. uninterrupted Court two, live stream of the semi-finals. We've been here all week and uh, we'll be here again tomorrow for the finals. I'll have alongside me Fabrice Vallée in co-commentary tomorrow. 11, Fabrice, 10, former and head play. coach of the French national team up to the London Olympics. So looking forward to having Fabrice. Meanwhile, Out. back with this semi-final. And again, great interception from the left-handed Noor. Oh. And Antran starting to move a lot quicker now on the flick serve. That time... Good Service quick feet getting 12, back behind the shuttle. 11. Of course, being behind the shuttle allowing her to get the angle on the attack. Oh, just out from Baptiste Kerem. And the oohs and the ahs from the Service crowd as that one just fell just 12. outside the tram line. It was at this point in the first game that the Danes really took control. And the French will have to be wary of that happening again. And again, great accuracy on the smash from Baptiste Kerem. Once again, targeting the forehand hip of the left-handed Nicolas Snor. 13-12. It's very much point for point at the moment. Service over, 13 all. <laughs> nice brush over the net from Tran. Service over, 14-13. And again, Karem so effective on the backhand side. 15, 13. And the crowd again starting to clap, trying to get behind the French in black. Flat flick this time from Karem. Good judgment from Nicholas Knorr. Service over, 14, 15. <laughs> 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 
15 all. Again, clever from Nicholas, changing the point of the attack, this time going out wide to Tran. And all of a sudden off screen, the French mascot enters the arena. 16, 15. And the Danes now seizing control of this game at a crucial time. Four points in a row. Taking them from a two-point deficit to a two-point advantage. Good net from Tran. A great rally from the French pair, in particular Tran hunting at the net. sudden the tempo in this game stepped up at least two notches neutralizing lift from Karem but nor seizing the opportunity Service over. 18. big points now for the French really can't afford to go three points behind. Just past the half hour mark. Third point in the rally, certainly there for Anna Chan to take control, leaving it to Baptiste Karem and Karem always stretching and right now three point lead looking healthy for the Danes oh a bit of luck catching the net from Nicholas Noor oh Long from Tran, and it's four match points for Nicholas Norn and Sarah Tigerson. Match point 16. <laughs> One saved the lift. From Nord drifting long of the baseline. Service over 17 20. A good pack and push down the line for Mantran. Two of the four game points saved. 18 20. Again, that flat flick from Karim. Oh, this time, third time of asking, the Danes take it. 21-14, 21-18, warm round of applause from an appreciative French crowd. 33 minutes, and uh, Sarah Tigerson and Nicholas Noor who advanced to tomorrow's final. We'll be back shortly with an interview with 
the Danish winners. And then following the shortly third, after that, Sargent women's singles semi final, number 14, four seed Sashina Vinas one on of France against number two seed Linda Zachiri. Nicola Serra, good to see you and many when we look back, I think semi-final in Italy, maybe before Christmas was your yeah. best result. Yeah. So now you've uh, gone one step further into a final. You must be happy with this performance. Yeah, I'm really happy. And I think we this week have played really well. And and I think we, we managed to, to play our own game and, and so on in all three matches here. And yeah, it's all been a in Italy. And we are really happy to get the next step as well, finally, in the challenge. This match itself, um, crucially at the end of each game, you took control, Sarah. Uh, certainly in the first and towards the end of that second. Uh, maybe just a little bit more experience than the junior. So, uh, did you focus a lot on the in an attack? Yeah, yeah, but I think we had mo most focus on ourselves mm -hmm. and the game that, that we play in. Sometimes we are forced to push a lot, and this, now, this game we. We had the control and could keep the shells very short at the net, so that was yeah the big difference. <laughs> Looking ahead, then a final, obviously, French finals here at the international is always a very glitzy affair. Lots of music, lots of noise, lots of light. Will you enjoy that type of atmosphere? Yeah, that's wonderful, and I think the crowd here is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't see this in normal at the challenge tournaments, but but this crowd is really amazing and a great for for the. Uh, for the whole tournament, yes. Fantastic. Guys, thanks for joining us. Well played this week. Super stuff, and uh, we'll hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank